Okay, so one of the emails that I've received is about a person who's struggling with distance with their eyes, saying that they're creating a weak shot. Um, now I thought this was quite a good one because it's relevant to quite a few people and quite a few th thoughts within a golf swing as well. So what we're going to talk about today is a bit about your lead wrist. Okay, so for a right-handed golfer, it's your left hand. So just think of it as your glove hand. So left-handed golfer, it'd be your right hand. Um, and how your wrist works through the ball and what that's going to cause to the launch of the shot, the strength of the shot, um, and whether the ball that, or the club you're selecting is going to make the distance that you're going to hit. Into the wind, you'll see a very weak shot from what I'm going to describe now. So, now, when we come into the ball, if you cast your hands, so your hands your club goes out wider and your hands cast this way so see how my hands are behind me I'd be coming into impact like this presenting quite a lot of loft to the shot now it's a inefficient way of hitting the ball because if I'm doing this I tend to lean back and now I'm creating loft I'm not getting as much energy into the ball as I should be so we're going to look at a couple of things but first of all we're going to look at the function of that wrist Okay, I've just got one of my daughter's um, swimming paddles here. You can actually simply just get a plate out. Um, stand, you can stand in front of a mirror doing this as well. So we're going to set my hand up here. So I move my body back and as I do that you can see how the float is facing you. Now as I come into impact, we would want that float to square up and you can see my wrist position here. Then as we go through the ball, We'd rotate through this way so we'd rotate the float there we'd square it up and through so what it's doing is it's looking at my wrist function here but also how my lead arm my front arm is rotating and I'm, I'm getting a feeling of getting that wrist back to here if you imagine my my bottom hand on it would be in this position here as I come into the ball now okay rather than this flipping action so, do a couple of things to get the feeling of it. I've just got a chair here. What I'm doing is, is I'm, I'm positioning it around about level with my legs here. So, obviously it's going to be in the way for a backswing. So all I want you to do is move your hands around. Um, and I want you to get the feeling of, you don't have to turn your body so much or your back, but just get the feeling of pulling that club down. See the angle of my shaft here. And I'm pulling it down into top of the chair trying to get a feeling of how that would hold that position into the ball and not flick so you're going to feel pull imagine you're breaking the, the seal of a um, water in a swimming pool which is waist high so you're getting that sensation here okay then you could then take that outside and you could get a feeling of pull down pull you don't have to turn your chest at the moment but then Get the sensation of keeping that angle back and through. If you've got the ability to hit a ball, you can then go and hit one with that same feeling. If not, just do the practice swings in the garden. But you want to get that feeling of pulling the club down into the back of the ball and not flicking, not flicking with your wrists this way. Okay.